Ladies and gentlemen, dear participants, I am very pleased to welcome you at the Royal Museums of Fine Arts of Belgium in presence or online at the occasion of the symposium on the research project B paper. This encounter aims at providing the first overview of Belgian avant-garde works on paper within an international context between 1918 and 1950. During four years, B paper will be realized in a close collaboration between our museum and two Belgian universities, the KU Leuven, through its research laboratory, and the Université de Libre de Bruxelles, within the framework of the federal research program BRAIN. During the first half of the 20th century, a wide variety of artists turned to paper and transformed it from a support onto a medium. Many questions still arise about this new use and among them the use of paper as a support material and carrier in the classical avant-garde. We will also talk about the European context, the period 1905-1950 and also the possibility to broaden the Belgian perspective. We are very grateful to all those who contributed to making this enriching week full of encounters and shared experience happen. We would like to, to thank particularly Inga rossi schrimpf for the Royal Museums of Fine Arts of Belgium, Sacha Bru for the KU Leuven, Michel Draguet for l'Université Libre de Bruxelles and Elena Calvo for Belspo. We also would like to thank the entire team and follow-up committee of B Paper, the scientific committee of the symposium and the technical uh, uh, and events staff of the museum. And last but not least, all speakers who will lead and take part in the discussions during the three following days. To all of you, I wish you I, have, I wish the pleasure of the scientific collaboration and the richness of exchanges and debate. I will now pass the word on to Sacha Bru from the KU Leuven. Thank you. Can you hear me? Yes, you can. Um, Tatou dit déjà, donc. I have very little to say um, that is left because she's already said it more or less. Um, thank you, Isabel, uh, and welcome also on my behalf to uh, this conference. Uh, my name is Sacha Bru, and um, as one of the supervisors of this B paper project, I'm on the back of which this conference is organized. I'm delighted to be able to pronounce a few opening words here in what remain, by all accounts, um, unusual times. In dire times like these, there is something soothing in being able to turn to that most majestic and democratic of supports that is paper. The history of paper may not be as old as that of humanity, but it is safe to say that human history, and especially humanity's modern history, is difficult to imagine without paper. As the prime keeper of human communication, imagination, and creativity, paper may well have started its descent in our digital, or our children would say post-digital times. Yet it still remains one of our most trusted and trustworthy companions, a companion able to store our words and images for posterity, a companion in return demanding from us that we secure it from the onslaughts of the elements of time and the elements, sorry. For centuries, millennia, Paper has been with us in a variety of forms, and yet, give or take a few precursors, the historical avant-gardes of the early 20th century were perhaps the first modern artistic formation to have realized that paper could not just be used as an artistic support, but also as a medium that could be subjected to experimental use in the visual arts and beyond. It's this moment of unprecedented experiment with the material medium of paper in the avant-garde that will be the topic of the next three days. 
It is with paper dreams and projections, um, paper probes and procedures, paper plans and projections as they circulated in and across the arts of the early 20th century avant-garde that we shall be concerned in the next three days. As I already indicated, this conference comes under the aegis of the B Paper Research Project, which is sponsored by the Belgian Scientific Policy Office and which is subtitled um, Belgian Art on Paper from a European Perspective. The aim of this project, which is conducted by a team of about 10 people, is manifold, but for our present purposes, it suffices to highlight just two of our aims. First, the B Paper project sets out to disclose and arrive at a better understanding of the avant-garde collection of works on paper housed within this very institution, the Royal Museums of Fine Arts of Belgium. Laura, Laura Kolvelte, will speak a bit more about this collection in a few minutes. An important second aim of this project is to study the Belgian avant-garde's work on paper more broadly by paying attention to its variegated material composition, its reproduction and dissemination across print culture, both in Belgium and uh, beyond, to its national and international circulation through exhibitions, as well as to the complex aesthetics of paper the Belgian avant-garde devised. Now, all of this can, of course, not be done without paying heed also to similar avant-garde practices elsewhere in Europe. And when, you, when we embarked on this project, we soon realized that despite, of course, an obvious amount of fragmented studies on avant-garde work on paper, the role of paper in the historical avant-gardes across art forms and throughout the whole of Europe had not yet received the attention it deserves. And so the idea for this conference, mm, yeah, maybe the first of its kind, if you wish, was born. I hasten to add that there is also a plan to commit the conference itself to paper. That is, to compose a book with at least a selection of papers read here. So do not yet publish your stuff elsewhere. We shall be in touch with you about our publication plans shortly after this conference. And we'll do this as swiftly as possible. Before I give the floor to Laura, let me conclude with a few words on who is here and who is not. Some of you are physically here. Some of you will be presenting remotely. Some of you might have heard that Joe Biden is also joining us tonight. Um, not in this venue, luckily, but at least in this city, which after Dubai is the most cosmopolitan town on the planet, as you might know. This makes it all the more tragic as well that two Moscow-based delegates who had planned to join us were unable to make it to this conference. I say this is tragic because, of course, we realize that the official um, political line coming to us from the Russian Federation is not that of all Russians. It's for this reason also that I wish to welcome Angelina Lucento in person, whom I understand was able to leave Russia recently and will be joining us tomorrow to talk on avant-garde photography in the Donbass. Angelina, you are welcome. All of you here, there, wherever you are, you are welcome. Um, and I wish you all three, uh, all three intellectually stimulating days. Hmm. Thank you, Sacha. Um, I'm Laura. Hello, I'm very happy to see all of you. Um, if you look at the program, you will see that my name is not on the introduction. Um, Inga Rossi Schrimp was supposed to talk to you today, but unfortunately, uh, she is sick. Which brings me to my first point. Honestly, that we are all here today, to me, is a miracle. <laughs> um, it was uh, quite an adventure organizing this uh, symposium. The curveballs that were thrown at us were many. And um, I am thus very happy that we are here to share our passion and interest in the subject. Um, when we launched the call for papers, we were honestly overwhelmed by the responses and proposals underscoring the vast interest in the subject and the many angles from where it can be approached. Uh, it is because of that that we have taken it upon ourselves to do a three-day event taking place in 
two spaces simultaneously. I will get back on the more practical uh, issues later. Um, <coughs> and uh, also giving the opportunity for remote speakers to uh, participate throughout the entire symposium. And while I have cursed this ambition uh, at times, I am today very proud and happy that we are here with uh, almost 40 researchers from as far away as Australia uh, tackling this wonderful subject. Um, now, as mentioned by Isabel and Sasha, um, the origin of this symposium is the B-Paper project. And um, I would like to talk to you a bit about uh, the collection of the museum uh, since we are here and since the entire project is really based uh, on this one. Um, so the collection of modern arts on paper holds about 9,000 works. And uh, we are talking mainly about drawings, pastels, and watercolors, as well as photographs and prints from artists born uh, 1748 and later. Um, prints and photographs held in the collection are mainly from the period after 1945. And the strength of the collection are the late 19th century uh, in Belgian art, Belgian abstract art of the 20s, as well as the young generation after 1945 with La, peinture, uh, La Jeune Peinture Belge and Cobra. Uh, in the B-Paper project specifically, we are working with about 1,000 works on paper dating from 1918 to 1950 by Belgian artists or artists working in Belgium at the time. Uh, it is really a cross-section of avant-garde practices that we find throughout all of Europe and that will be highlighted uh, in this symposium. Now, be it the radical new use of collage, photomontage, and newspaper, leading us from art on paper to art with paper or paper art, to the important role paper plays as a playing field to develop design ideas, be it furniture, typography, or costume design. Um, here I particularly think of the works of Antwerp artist and Belgian avant-garde leader Josef Peters, who dipped his toe into multiple art forms while always relying on paper as a support for his ideas. Working so intimately with the works of the collection also shows us that works on paper, uh, whose exhibition conditions are often difficult and limited in time and intensity, have to be seen up close and personal in order to fully grasp the incredible possibilities of this material. Uh, textures, colors, grains, haptics can vary so vastly from uh, the utter delicacy of paper to the strong roughness uh, that it can have. And of course, the pleasant surprise of the hidden watermark uh, that you can only see when holding the sheet to the light. This diverse use of paper is showcased in our collection by, for example, the collages of Paul Eustens, of whom we will hear more on Friday, um, or the drawings of lesser-known artist uh, Germaine Rambou. Interestingly enough, it is only in the 1920s that the museum bo board states the necessity and will to develop a collection of modern drawings. One aspect of our research is thus also understanding why this is uh, this interest in modern drawings, albeit 19th century rather than beginning uh, of 20th century drawings, coincides with the huge importance of paper, drawings and prints promoted by the avant-garde. Um, <coughs> avant-garde in and of itself uh, has entered the collection only decades later, the Belgian avant-garde being famously snubbed during their most productive years um, by Belgian uh, states, but also by the public in general, only to be rediscovered in the uh, 50s and 60s. The motivations behind these purchases and our donations form a last point of interest in our project. The question of antedating is one that often comes up, but also the elevation of sketches to autonomous and self-serving artworks. One intriguing example is a number of works by Felix de Boek donated to the museum in 1981, who has mounted miniature sketches on multiple layers of colored paper, giving these quick scribbles an air of grandeur and autonomy that they otherwise would never have uh, acquired. Now, as of 2011 and with the opening of the Fin de Siècle Museum in 2013, the collection of modern art after 1914 is not on permanent display in the museum anymore. 
Uh, so research projects such as B paper are playing a crucial role in maintaining constant research and keeping the focus on this important part of the museum's collection that you cannot see in person, which is why I would also invite you to uh, follow our progress uh, on our brand new website, uh, bpaper.be, where we will put more and more works um, to see online. Of course, it's not the same as in person, but uh, it will really inform uh, yeah, the development of our, of our project in the months and years to come. Um, now, finally, for the practical uh, points, um, so the talks will be in two separate rooms. This is Auditorium A and the other room is Room U. So when you enter, the Auditorium A is on your left and Room U is on your right. Um, and, uh, well, we are not many, but I would suggest that you do not change rooms during the panels, just not to disturb the panelists, but rather focus on one panel and then yeah, uh, change rooms for, for, for the next one. Um, and for those fearful of missing out, which I totally understand, it's like going to a music festival and wanting to see two bands at the same time, it's horrible. <laughs> um, but we will record everything and we will put it uh, on our website shortly. I will inform you uh, of that as well when it's done. A uh, friendly reminder for everyone, the talks should be 20 minutes. Um, and for now, I would suggest that we do uh, one talk after the other and then the Q&A and the discussion together at the end. Uh, we will check with the technical team if that is really the best option. If it changes, I will let you know during lunch break, but for the first panels, we'll do it like that. Um, lunch is provided for our speakers um, here at the venue, and uh, we will also meet for a coffee break where everyone is welcome. And then on Thursday, I have organized a little um, informal get-together after work. Uh, I will give you more info tomorrow. Everyone is welcome as well. Um, and then finally, I would like to thank uh, the five helping hands that uh, from the MDRN project from the KU Leuven, uh, who kindly assist me with the registration and during the discussion time, and particularly Abigail van Alst and Lianne Darnbro, who have agreed to chair a panel very last minute. So thank you. Um, yeah, I'm very, very excited to hear all of you. And um, I think look at the program, choose if you want to stay here or go to the other room, and then uh, we can start. Thank you very much. <laughs>